What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play O oh, Isabel by Parker McCollum. It was a request by one of my subscribers. It's in standard tuning with a capo on the second fret. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me and like the video and all that. Grab your guitar. Oh, and if anybody has a request, let me know in the comments. Grab your guitar and I'll show you how to play it. All right, y'all, the chords you're going to need is a D. Um, he's going to play it. He plays it with and without the middle finger on the second fret first string. He'll leave it open, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you're playing it, but there's a D, A, B minor, and G. Um, if you're a beginner and you don't know any of these chords, let me know in the comments, and I'll help you out. All right, let me show you this intro real quick. He's just hanging out on this D chord with the first string open and adding his pinky on the third fret. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll start strumming it. So you sit Anyway, so um, you just hang out on that D chord for the intro. All right, and then when it starts, it's gonna start strumming on the D. A, B minor, G. And that's almost the whole song. The strumming pattern is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, but um, let me play along with it for a second. In the Sunshine freckle in your face. Feel the flowers in your green eyes. Blessing my dreams with your grace. All your kinfolk. Alright, anyway, also you can uh, pick through the chords too. You strum it and go like. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know. Uh, pick through the chords that was the D with the first string A B minor G you know what I'm saying it sounds good like that too um, just letting you know um, but um, that's gonna be your verses the chorus is almost like that Left you stay to dance you stay to dance out in the rain Stay the dance out in the rain. Oh, I wanted to tell you too, um, it's the same progression for the chorus, I mean for the verse, D, A, B, G, but he'll stay on that G for an extra measure, you know what I'm saying, but before he goes back to the D. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about, but I just wanted to let y'all know that. But um, let me show you the chorus. Alright, right here. It starts on a B minor. B minor. C. D. A. Anyway, that's going to be your chorus, B minor. I forgot to tell y'all, didn't I? B minor. G. D. A minor. I mean, A. Sorry. And, um... That's the whole song. The next chorus, I mean, verse is just like the first. The D minor. I mean, why do I keep saying that? D. A. B minor. G. It's a real simple song. Um, he says it was the first one he wrote, or he wrote it in somewhere. Yeah, 
see how I ha he hangs out on that G for extra measure right there before he goes back into the chorus. But that's right after the, um, I mean verse, that's right after the chorus. But um, also I wanted to tell you on that chorus, it'll go B minor. G, D, A, A. So you'll do just like the G in the in the verse where you stay an extra measure, you're gonna do the same thing in the chorus with the A. Alright, then you're gonna go um, after the chorus, you'll go back to D and do this again. A minor, I mean A, B minor, G, G. D, verse 2, A, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, the next chorus is just like the one I just showed you. The only other thing you know, there's going to be this part at the end um, um, where he'll say, Oh, Isabel, a couple times, and all that is, you're going to go B minor, G, B minor, G. You know what I'm saying? But you'll see what I'm talking about. But that is and was Parker McCollum's O Isabel by request. I hope y'all liked it. And if anybody else has a request, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Um, until next time, gone.